How you folks doing today? My name is Cleo McLean, and um, I work at the Rock Solid Fitness as the fitness manager and trainee, and I'm also one of the personal trainers. Um, but today, I will be talking to you about my powerlifting journey uh, slash career. Um, so, my first question is, what do you do in the industry? Um, like I said, I am a powerlifter. Pretty much, my job is to eat, train, and prepare for competition. Um, I'm currently prepping for um, Mid-Atlantic Regionals, which will take place in Somerset, New Jersey. Um, if I go in there and do what I'm supposed to do, and total, which is my total combined of my three lists of squat, bench, and deadlift, if I do what I'm supposed to do, I should be able to qualify for Raw Nationals for either 2017 or 2018. Uh, that's a really, really big opportunity. A um, really good opportunity to become a sponsored athlete and start getting paid for this, and uh, that would be an absolute blessing. So, um... The second, second question is uh, what task takes up the majority of your time? Um, honestly, in this, the biggest thing that takes up my time is, is, is meal prepping. Um, me, for meal prepping, I'm eating over about, I'm eating over, over 5,000 calories on a training day. Um, off of a training day, maybe about 43,000, 40, I'm sorry, 4,300. So it's very, very difficult to balance, you know, work, actually getting sleep, training, and then eating all that food. So if you're not prepared, it's gonna be bad because you're not gonna eat. And if you don't eat, you're gonna get small. If you get small, <laughs> you don't want to get small. Uh, especially if you don't eat, your performance is gonna linger. So everything's really connected with just being organized and uh, making sure that you're prepped. Uh, what aspects of your job are most difficult, and what aspects do you enjoy the most? Honestly, the most difficult, like I said, it is the prep. Um, on, you know, typically depending on what I'm cook, what I'm cooking, this can be a two and a half hour job, but this will also be a four and a half hour job. You know, it's a lot of a lot of time that gets put in that kitchen. You know, and there's a lot of food that you got to eat. You don't want your food to taste like absolutely garbage, so you're not gonna rush through your prep because then you're not even gonna enjoy it throughout the week. So I mean, that's that's pretty that's pretty uh, t tedious. Now, the part that I enjoy the most has to be the training. Um, there's nothing better than to, you know, put 100% into those weights. Um, they're always going to be truthful to you. You know, I don't know about you guys if you're really into fitness, but there's a quote saying that, you know, 100 pounds is always going to be 100 pounds. You know, friends can switch up on you, family can switch up on you, but that 100 pound bar is always going to be that 100 pound bar. So it's going to keep it real with you, man. That gym, that weight room is a sanctuary. You know, it's like it's my little my little dungeon cave. It's a home away from home. When everything is going wrong, I know I can go in there and those weights are going to sing to me. That's how I feel about it. So, uh, how did you get started in the industry? Um, well, I've always played sports my entire life. Um, I played football, uh, basketball, wrestling. Um, I threw shot put and disc. So, I've always been an athlete. Um, it really just came from wanting to be the most superior athlete. Um, I wasn't super duper blessed with genetics. I wasn't super big, super strong, super fast, but at the age of 13, age of 14, even though I was not the biggest and strongest kid, I wanted to be. And I understood since that was not given to me that I had to take it. So I trained all the time, every opportunity that I got, every bit of food that I could get, right? You know, eggs, potatoes, whatever fad, whatever diet, you know, I was whatever you know diet or fad was there to gain weight, I was doing it. Um, research, extensive research online. I'm on the computer all the time. I'm talking to my, 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 my boy Grant on the phone for hours every night because he's a bodybuilder. I'm trying to get as much information from him. Um, it, it was, you know, it was amazing. I felt like I had just found, you know, the best thing ever. Um, so that was that was how I, that's how I got started, you know. I, was, I wanted to be big, I wanted to be strong, and I understood that I had to work for it. It wasn't just going to be given to me. So, hey, I got that from a very very young age. Uh, what advice would you give to someone looking to break into the industry now? Um, someone who is interested in policy now, um, I would say um, be patient. Um, take every training day. You know, take every training day one at a time. I know the biggest thing that was frustrating for me is that I wasn't getting the results as fast as I wanted to get them. I wanted to just touch the weights and then just blow up into this huge, you know, uh, monster, man monster, you know, mania or whatever. Um, you can't do that. It's a very, very patient process. Um, it takes long. It takes a long time. Uh, it takes a lot of consistency, a lot of meals, a lot of training sessions, a lot of suffering. That's really what it's about. If you want to be successful, you got to be willing to suffer. So if you're not willing to sacrifice yourself in that weight room, then don't go in it. Uh, so, like I said, 
That's, that's the best advice I can give you on an honest base. If you're not willing to give every bit of your soul, you know, your life to that, to those weights, if you aren't willing to die in that weight room, you're not going to be successful in the sport because it's very, very difficult. It's very, very difficult.